Well, many students in the West Bloomfield District are headed back to school today. Grades K through 8 are doing a mix of in-person and online learning. The superintendent says the district has been working on the plan for months. The younger kids go to school in two shifts to provide space for social distancing. For now, all high school classes are online. We're going to go live now to Kim Craig with an update on Utica Community Schools. I believe that they have now gone to online learning and parents, they're not happy about that, but there's also a cost to have the kids brought inside the gymnasiums as well. Yes, we talked to a number of parents and one said he's already paying taxes, but now it's going to cost him a minimum of $1,200 a month to send his two children to one of seven schools like Dresden Elementary School here, where the children will still learn remotely on their computers. And in Utica Community Schools, the teachers will be in the classrooms alone conducting virtual lessons. That's just a, that's a lot of money, you know, I mean, for any household, I believe. Sunday, Noel is raising her six-year-old granddaughter, and Kaya is going into the first grade in the Utica Community Schools District, where they will only be doing remote teaching this school year. But they're offering child care in seven schools where the children will be learning on their computers with a preschool teacher in the gym or on a large stage area where the children can socially distance. Because we've been saying, where's our choice? Where's our choice? You guys took our choice away. It's only virtual. And now with that, you have working parents. You have parents that have to go into the office. What do we do with our children? This mom does not want us to show her face, but she echoes what a number of people are saying, that the prices are just too high. For three days a week, it's $150 per student. For five days a week, it'll cost $225 a week. And when you add up the monthly costs, that means $600 a month to $900 a month per child. I myself can't afford to do that. This is a service that we offer parents. It's a self-sustaining program, and they limit it to 36 students per school. You have working parents that are struggling so hard just to make their bills every day, you know, and then you have to come up with $1,000 to put your children at a place of at a school in a location that's safe so that they can get education from a computer. It just doesn't make sense. It's too much money for me. Um, I am choosing to stay home and make sure that she gets an education. We need a choice. It's just not fair. And the district did ask parents, how likely are you to return to school in the fall if class sizes do not change at all and students and staff are required to wear masks in school? They say 39% of parents said that they would choose to send their kids here to do face-to-face -face learning, but they say they just don't have the capacity to socially distance. Reporting live in Sterling Heights, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. It is such a tough call. Kimberly, thank you so much.